hi welcome once again friend in previous video we learned the concepts of uh, point line segment line and ray right now th in this video we'll be doing some practice of uh, these concepts right uh, well let's uh, start well uh, I forget to tell you something uh, about in previous video that uh, a line is also uh, sometime uh, sometime uh, you know represented by some some uh, small letters like L uh, you may get something that this is line M this is line like this right it will be written like this something like this and here will be written something uh, that N uh, you are given a line segment P small p and it will be given like this so sometimes we also represent lines like this now actually we are going to do this practice here now okay so let's fill up this this practice actually I want to make you uh, it will really boost your all concepts first I'll, uh, fill in the blanks using the concepts of the point line segment line and array right so here the first fill up is a dash is a dot made with a sharp pencil as we told in previous video that a point is a invisible invisible that so much invisible so much a small structure made with a very 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 sharp pencil that's almost invisible so this is point right so a point is a dot made with a sharp pencil another a point has dash and dash it shows position right a point has no length right and no breadth right so yeah what we understand that a point has no length and no breadth means we cannot measure the point we cannot measure its length and its breadth or something like that right we cannot do like that in in a point so a point do not have length and breadth when infinitely uh, uh, let me make uh, when infinite infinite numbers of points join together it forms dash the symbol of line is dash means when infinite number of points join together it forms a line exactly right that's 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 a lot of infinite number of l points are there infinite you know we count we cannot count even so ultimately it will st it will form a line right so when infinite number of points join together it forms a line so this is a very good concept right so don't uh, don't forget please remember this properly insert it in your brain right it's really important uh, uh, right so when infinite number of points joins together it forms a line and the symbol of the line is as we are learning right just like this okay now the lines may be vertical vertical like this right horizontal like this or oblique means something slanted like like this or it may be something like this or something something like this that that's something oblique right not straight vertical or straight horizontal so the shortest distance between two points on a line is known as so again I told you the shortest distance between two points right the shortest distance between point A and point B is the line segment right is a line segment is a line segment right now draw a line segment AB <laughs> again the same concept we're getting uh, how to draw the AB again simple right here is a point here is point A and this is point B right and the shortest distance is itself the AB that's line segment right now a line has end point okay so this is suppose our line so does it in somewhere do it in uh, have we have we ever feel the end point of the line in previous video what we have talked that a line do not have the end point right where we have talked about this we have talked uh, here about right so a line do not have this pq do not have the end point i was talking that if um, i will start elongating this both side pq of this both sides even my grandson and the grands 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 grandson will not finish and it will not finish either either never it will finish right so it's too much length it's a huge length you know infinite lengthy so 
it does not uh, it doesn't have a line doesn't have the endpoints right a line has endpoint no endpoints array has endpoints what is ray first again at some from some source it is going somewhere right right it has a starting point it has a starting point right a starting point but but no endpoint right no endpoint no endpoint so array has endpoint does it have endpoint yes its ending point is not but its starting point is here so array has no endpoint no endpoint uh, but from this side right it is a starting point actually it is called so it has a it has an endpoint here it is and it is ended he over here right so actually generally um, this question is something twisted uh, means something uh, in other way it should have to give right array is you know have a starting point it should say it should say array has one starting point and no endpoints at all it should be like that so we can write like this also one endpoint in that way we can write here array has one endpoint if we suppose this but actually array do not have endpoints you know it it doesn't end somewhere but it start at a point if you consider that the starting point is the end point if you coming from the infinity somewhere then you can say something like that so array uh, has uh, in this level we'll be saying array has one endpoint Con what we are considering we are considering that this starting point is the end point right so a line segment can be measured true or false uh, can we measure the line segment see this is uh, p and this is q right so pq can we measure this of course uh, by taking a ruler or something we can easily measure this yes it's true but if it was a line if pq was a line then we cannot measure a line segment has how many ends of course they have two ends right they have two endpoints now another problem name the rays le uh, segments or line in the following so here a and c and d here c and d what you're looking here here is a c one point and here is a d one point right and both are ending somewhere uh, means both are being uh, connected by a line by by this line that's why it's a line segment it's a line segment right and see it is starting at s point this is the source and it's going far away far away we don't know somewhere so that's why this is ray right and here again the two points connected so that's why this is this is a line segment a line segment right this is the shortest distance between these two points that's why this is a line segment again it's moving on moving on moving on second number is moving on so that's why this is a line it will never end right again it has a starting point right but no endpoints that's why it is a ray and this is of course a point right uh, again here f f is you know s starting from somewhere it is starting from somewhere and and it's moving on moving on moving on we don't know this means infinite we don't know some where it will end so this is again a ray right uh, I hope you understand the concepts right and by uh, understanding the same concept we have to draw here mark the pairs of AB CD LM and PQ and draw a ray AB so ray AB sometime you know ray is uh, written like something S is the source and moving somewhere suppose P is the source and moving somewhere right and sometime we say Q there is a, some Q points means this rays moves via Q it moves through Q also means this ray passes through starts at P and goes away through Q it means uh, that right the same way we have to draw the ray AB so A here is right here here A is the starting point means from there it starts right so it's starting somewhere and going somewhere we don't know it's uh, it doesn't have any end point right so somewhere any anywhere you can keep the point suppose B this is point B right and now B 
this is the answer of A now answer of B let's do line CD again C and D right it is somewhere this is C point this is D point right this is line CD it means it's a line you know a line is passing through C and D right that is exactly we generally in our uh, language generally in our language we shall that's line CD okay now segment LM segment means line segment they are talking so that's L point and this is M point so our segment LM is connecting this point so this LM is the shortest distance this segment is segment LM is the shortest distance between LM M which can we we can measure right and ray QP again again in the same way right this is of C and this is of D this is starting point that is Q and ending point we don't know right is somewhere we can say it's P so QP this is ray QP right now uh, I hope you get a, a brief concept of ray point line segment and segment right and uh, in next video we'll be doing a little bit more problems of this uh, this concepts right and after that we'll be starting uh, angles what is angles okay so we'll be meeting next video bye bye